chickens, welcome to another video. Today I really just fancied picking up the camera. Mango. Mango. I do apologise about that. I think Mango um, thinks I'm going crazy when I talk to the camera because him and Egg, whenever like I'm vlogging or talking on my Instagram or whatever, they're just like, what is she doing? Like who is she talking to? Is she talking to a ghost? Um, so I think he thinks I'm going crazy, but it's all good mango You know, it's just the pumpkin. So here I am Um, as I was saying I just fancied picking up the camera today and vlogging I've not done that in what feels like a while. I can't actually think but it just it feels too long basically whatever it is It's too long Um, and it is Friday today and obviously the weekend is pretty much here But I have quite a bit to do today um, so I have quite a bit to do today. I'm going to need to clean my room at one point because it is a mess. Um, so I need to do that. Tomorrow I have not scheduled anything in. I'm just going to have a fun day tomorrow. Um, but providing I can get everything done today that I need to do. Um, so hopefully I really should crack on because it is, what is the time? It is 11.39 already. All I've done today is wash my hair, um, had breakfast. Oh my God, Mango literally loves to talk. This is the only thing about pedigree cats is that they talk, 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 talk. They're so talkative, but obviously they're very cute. Um, but yeah, so I have made some TikTok sounds, to be fair, which does take a while. So I've done that at least. Um, and like I said, I've washed my hair because it was greasy AF. You know when your hair just gets to that point where it's like nothing you can do, not even tying it up looks good, like you just have to wash it. Um, it was thick with grease so it's now nice and clean, it's still drying, I put some oils in it um, just to keep it hydrated and everything. But I just thought I could vlog like random parts of my day, I mean I'm not doing anything exciting. I'm not doing anything exciting tomorrow, Sunday I'm working all day, um, so I just thought whenever I can vlog, I will vlog, and I hope that's going to be okay, hopefully it's going to be a good video, I have no idea what it's going to turn out like, sometimes I have plans for a vlog, whereas other times I'm just like, just go with the flow cheer, see what happens, watch the clips at the end, and see if it's okay, um, and fingers crossed it will be. Also, yesterday, this may mean absolutely nothing to a lot of you, but some of you it might do. So, if you, well, you must know by now, if you watch my Instagram stories, my TikTok, I literally love, like, heavy music. I love emo music. Always have, always will. Um, and basically, I made a TikTok of Ollie Sykes, who is the lead singer in Bring Me The Horizon. If you didn't know, Bring Me The Horizon, basically one of my favourite bands. And they are very, very famous, like, very famous. And Ollie Sykes saw it, he saw the TikTok, he followed me on TikTok, which I literally, oh my god, I felt like crying. That was on Wednesday, and then he liked it. And then last night, he randomly commented on it, saying, like, it was, I can't remember what he said, it was like, um, let me find it. I've screenshotted it about a thousand times, because I don't believe it still. Um... Yeah, I was like, oh, I really don't believe what I'm seeing, so I'm going to have to keep screenshotting it. So he said, in capital letters, may I just add, I'm living for this video to pure. And then I asked Charlie, I was like, what does pure mean? He was like, he thinks it means, like, cute, like, quite sweet and cute. And I'm like, if that, if that is that, right, Ollie Sykes has called me cute. What? Literally, mind blown. And the fact that they followed me, it is literally crazy, like... When I go onto their TikTok, and I'm a huge fan, huge fan. I'm seeing them in September, um, which I can't wait for. Let me find their TikTok. Sorry, this may be really boring to some of you, but um, I just have to tell you because I can't stop thinking about it, and I just have to get it off my chest, you know? So on TikTok, can you guys see the little, um, I don't know what it's called, it's like the little person thing. Because it's got two arrows. That means that we are friends on TikTok because they follow me back. Which is so crazy. And then this is really weird. But when I go onto the TikTok that he commented on, that's his comment. And look, it says friends. I'm friends with Bring Me The Horizon on TikTok. Basically, the new member. Basically, Ollie Sykes' his best friend. Um... Yeah, that's that really. So yeah, that's my lifetime, right? Life complete, all my goals. No, I'm joking, but 
literally insane like I just still can't believe it to this day it's actually crazy so yeah anyway I'm going to just go with the flow of this vlog you know like it's just a chilled vlog my tattoo is healing quite well it's very scabby at the moment um I might give you a little update later I mean it does look pretty gross I can't lie to you uh because it's at that horrible scabby stage uh like his eyes are two big scabs which is just lovely delicious um but i might give you a little tattoo update i've got a few bits i can show you that i've got recently um i got a really exciting like pr package the other day um yeah just a few bits and bobs i'm just going to take you along with what i do over the next couple days i'm just going to see how it turns out hello everyone um you are currently propped up on my bed so sorry if you're a little bit wobbly um it's yeah just my bed um i've just finished filming some tiktoks and i don't know about anybody else or if it's literally just me but like since we've had lockdowns or since lockdowns have existed you know when you get so used obviously we were in lockdown for so long like in total you know when you just get so used to like obviously people who were working through the lockdown that's different but like people who were on furlough or just weren't working it's like where you have the like you have so much free time you just take your time of doing things i feel like i'm still in that mode like what i've got done i think it's like almost three o'clock now um and i've only done about i think i did like i don't know five tiktoks six maybe i think it was five though and just bits and bobs i feel like i've got all the time in the world and then it gets to like six o'clock in the evening i'm like oh where's the day gone does anybody else feel like that or is that literally just me like i'm finding it so annoying because my head and my brain is still like oh no you've got loads of time just take your time but i can't afford to take my time i have to speed you on up um but i'm just trying to get back into it i guess i know we've literally been out of lockdown since april um but yeah i'm just i'm finding it hard to adjust i can't lie to you i'm so used to being in lockdown um because i like, personally was in lockdown for so long um because i couldn't work through the lockdown like with my other job obviously i was still on youtube a bit still but that's very much like all on me so i could just relax which is why i just feel a bit like eh. i don't know does anybody else feel the same let me know because i really hope that i'm not the only one um but i thought whilst we are vlogging today i could talk you through some bits that i've got in the mail recently the mail who do i think i am i'm not american the post the royal mail the hermes the dpd the tnt the yodel who else do we have can't remember see i have had some bits in the post recently one being oh, Oh my god, I feel like I'm literally living the dream showing you guys this. I know it's not a big deal to some people, but it is to me. Um, basically, I've worked with Talon just before um, once. And the other day, Charlie like texted me. I wasn't working. I was like, oh, you've had a Talon just parcel arrive? And I was like, oh, I haven't ordered anything. And they literally sent this to me as a surprise. Wow. Like, so happy. Um, so grateful. I didn't even know that they were sending it to me. Um, which is crazy and this is the inside of the parcel um so they have actually which is really cute um sent me a top up of the tan that i use from tanologist which is the tanologist mousse um yeah like self tan mousse in dark they know that i like the dark one um so they sent me another bottle of this i'm li i literally have about that much left of my other bottles so this is perfect timing thank you so much tanologist i'm very grateful um and they also sent me a fake tan mitt which i didn't even know that they did a mitt so this is really cool and it's really cute um 10 out of 10 from tanologist but really really happy about that and then they have sent me something which i don't know if it's like new um but i I've never seen it before but it is the tanologist day glow hyaluronic radiance self tan serum and this literally looks amazing so you apply four to twelve drops to the skin wear alone or as the last step of skincare before makeup um i think it just like oh here we go so it gives you um like it's basically good for your skin and gives you like a nice glow as well which is what we love um i literally cannot wait to try this like i opened this a few days ago when it came um but i really want to show you guys so I thought why not um but i will let you know what this is like i'm gonna probably give it a go tomorrow and then i did actually have a parcel for more 
come in the post um this is from a brand called july child and i found them through megan welsh on instagram or megano i don't know how she likes it said um but yeah megan i'm just saying megan um on instagram and she has a few bits from this brand and i was like oh, i'm gonna check them out and they had a sale on so i was like oh um so i just went for it basically the packaging can i just add is so cute like wow um so i have obviously already opened it so it comes in like the box like that and this is what i got <laughs> and can i just like make a point here of saying how insane this little jewelry box is like when i opened it i opened it with charlie and he was like oh my god i was like mm -hmm, i know um it is a little like clam but it's like pink velvet it's so cute and it obviously stands like that um, so I'm going to have this on my dresser. And then it opens. Ta-da! Oh my god, it's so cute. So I've got this alien ring. Really random, I know. But I just thought it was so cute. It's like a little pink um, alien. And fun fact, I actually have a fear of aliens. Um, these ones in particular with the faces. So I don't really know why I got this. But I thought it was so cute. It was on sale from £80. 80 to 15 I was like, what? 80 to 15, that is insane. They do actually have it in green, purple, and white with pink uh, diamonds in the eyes. And I think I might have to get the green as well. Because the green was really, really cute. It's like a neon green. Um, but I, honestly, this box is just insane. And I'm going to keep that forever. And this is the ring. I'm just going to put it on. I got it for my um, index finger. Just thought that would be really nice and cute and i absolutely love it it fits like a dream um but yeah so definitely check them out i absolutely love it i think it is so cute it's very different but you know i like different um this is their instagram it is july child jewelry so make sure you check them out they have loads on there they're just like really cute rings and necklaces bracelets everything and it's all really amazing quality as well i think i'm gonna have some lunch maybe just like some eggs on toast or something just something quick and easy and then i'm pretty sure i'm meeting my friend siobhan for coffee this afternoon after she's finished work i don't really know when or where we're meeting yet but i will find out i'm sure um i don't know what the weather's like i'm not really sure but yeah we just want to go have a little catch up have a little coffee coffee and a cake or something um so i'm gonna do that i also need to tidy my room because it is a mess as always like all of this is clothes that needs to be put away or ironed or all of that um and the rest of my room is a state as well which is great it's no surprise um to be fair my room is always messy but i do always tidy it so it's okay and yeah that's my day really um not really sure what else I've got planned. I'm sure I'll update you though. But that is what I'm doing for now. But I'm going to go make some lunch because I literally am starving. And I also really, really, really need a cup of tea. Just in case anybody cares about what I'm having for lunch. This is what I'm having for lunch. So I've just made a slice of toast with scrambled egg and lots of ketchup. And obviously a cup of tea because what else would I have? Um, yeah, just thought in case anybody cares. Nom, 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 nom. Guys, I just have to show you this because Molly never really goes on the YouTube videos. By the way, that's my lamb and my chick. Um, she's curled up on my bed. Look how cute she looks. She loves being in my room. I don't know why. She just always comes in here when the door's open. She's so cute. I'm just going to meet Siobhan. Look how patchy my um, tan is on my neck. Gross. We're going to sort that out when I get home. Um, but yeah, my room is a state, but it's fine because we're going out. Um, I just literally popped on this t-shirt. It's a To The Grave t-shirt. It was from the Valentine's collection, so I love it. Um, I just got some leggings and my old schools. And yes, they are called old schools, but these are actually, <laughs> they live up to their name. They are old as hell. I don't even know if you can see, but there's literally a hole in my old schools because I've worn them so much. And I hardly wear them now, like I've had these for years. Um, but, you know, it's fine. I've got a black sock on, so you can't even tell. Um, but they are just so comfy and just easy. So I've thrown them on, put a scrunch in my hair because it is hot, hot, hot. I didn't think it would be hot, but it's very hot. Um, also, so we've got pink hearts on this sleeve, white hearts on this sleeve. We love to see it. Um, but yeah, that is my OOTD. 
I'm gonna go and make sure run for a coffee. See you there. Sorry for the really bad lighting. Um, shows off my lovely split ends. Um, yeah, so I've come to Lakeside and this is where I'm meeting Siobhan. Um, and yeah, I'm just so excited to see her. Um, she's a lovely friend of mine and she's literally the best person ever. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm just gonna have a little catch up, that kind of thing. Um, but it's actually so hot, like, it was warm in my bedroom and I was getting ready and I was thinking, okay, right, my room is very warm. So maybe it's that, but it's actually really hot. And I'm thinking, should I have worn long sleeves? Probably not, um, but I'm in long sleeves, so we're here now. I don't really know where we're going. I think we're going to like Starbucks or somewhere. Um, just have a little drink and a catch up. Uh, I only saw her the other day, but not properly. You know, you just want to have a good old catch up with a friend. Um, so I'm very excited also i had my eggs on toast it was bloody lovely absolutely fabulous um i do like eggs on toast with ketchup with a cup of tea it's literally my favorite like quick easy lunches um but i'm just hoping that this weather like makes his mind up because don't you find it's just so like the weather is almost like bipolar at the moment like one minute it's sunny and hot the next it's like cloudy and hot another time it's like raining like make your mind up girl because I want to know what to wear when I'm going out because this is too hot to be in a long sleeve. <gasps> I'm sorry I'm yawning. That's really rude of me. I'm sorry. I'm just so tired. Like, oh, I'm so tired. I need a holiday. I think we all need a holiday, don't we? This is why I'm so excited for when we get to go, like, to Manchester and all that. Like, it's just going to be so good and I literally cannot wait. I'm just thinking, do I have any updates to tell you about? I don't think I do. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm really not sure. Uh, I think me and Charlie are going to book a festival um, next month for September. We're not 100%, but we are going to try and book it. Um, just because it'll be so much fun. And I've not been to a festival in, since 2018 that's how long um because obviously last year with covid and yeah it's just it's been a while but i'm really hoping that we can book the festival next month so we have that booked um i'm just very much like let's just live life hun do you know what i mean like i'm 23 you're only 23 once so i'm just booking things left right and center i'm not really i have actually got plans to put things left right and center um but i'm very excited to be able to see live music again like that for me i've missed the most like music i always say this but it's so damn true music is such a big part of my life and like the feeling i get when i've been to a concert or oh, i think there's people just walking past thanks for the feature um yeah the feeling i get when i have seen a band live or just experienced live music been in the room or the venue wherever it just it's just like no other i can't explain it i can't explain it um and i'm literally itching to go to somewhere live the next live thing i've got booked is september the 26th but i'm hoping we can book this festival because festival's early september and so is my birth day my birthday i'm so excited for my birthday <gasps> oh, here we go. i'm sorry i'm just so tired guys look at my poor eyes i'm gonna go because i think siobhan will be here in a minute um and yeah i can't wait to see her so i will either see you after or tonight who knows only time will tell. Hi everyone. It is now Saturday. Me and Charlie have come to the range. Can't wait. Let's get some picture frames. Yeah. Do you know I've not been to the range in a vlog in so long. Normally it's our thing. I found it the other day. You don't vlog it though. Yeah, you're right. Time to look at picture frames. Do you need one this big? I want one the same as I got last time, but now I've forgotten the size, Emma. That wasn't in this section? Yeah, it was. You was it? Me. Oh. Um, well, I think I could get one that size. 
What's it for? A vinyl. It's got its prime. No one's wants command strips. Those ones? Yep. They're long ones, but they'll be alright, won't they? Yeah, they'll be better because it's bigger. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Well, it sticks above my door. There's no room. There is. There's oh. a tiny little bit of room. There's no room, guys. There's no room. What? The house? Yeah, you live in that. It's an egg house. Apparently, I'm going to live in this. I actually like that. Can we get that? No, it's to put eggs in. It's got elephants <laughs> on it. One doesn't like elephants. Oh. That's just a goth's answer to everything. Paint it black. Courtney, if you're watching, Domingo, back in the car now with our son Skelly. It's too hot. Jeff. It's not Jeff. It's Jeff. It's Skelly. No. Um, basically, I haven't caught you up. So, yesterday I got in from Cinchabon and we had a really nice time. We just went to Costa. I got a lemonade. She got a strawberry lemonade, I think it was, or something like that. And then we just got a cake each. Um, and it was chef's kiss. But we basically just need to pop to Lakeside because Charlie needs to go to the range and game. Yeah, I need to get a headset. Let's get a headset for his Xbox. Um, and honestly, a Primark had this bag that I've been on the hunt for. Basically, we saw my Primark haul, I think like a couple of weeks ago or three weeks ago. I got this little straw and blue bag and then they have it in pink. So I want to get the pink one. Because um, for like outfits like this, it would go. I will show my outfit, but I'll do it like a full OOTD when I see it now. Because I look very 90s today, don't I? Yeah, like, yeah, it's day. Yeah, I look like Fred. Fred? No, I like Fred. I've been coming up for it. Oh, really? Did you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, also I've got my July Child. Oh, yeah, because I recorded Scooby Doo like two days ago. Did you? Yeah, the movie. You don't like the movie, do you? No, I don't like Scooby Doo for example. Even though it's got Matthew Lillard on it. Yeah. Basically, cartoons for it's not, out. No, it's the real one. Oh, yeah, but that's when they go away, isn't it? Go abroad. Go abroad is a really weird way to describe the film, but yeah, they got Spooky Island. Yeah, I don't like that film. I mean, I'll watch it with you, but. I'll play the second one. Monsters Unleashed. Sick. Also, thank you for the love on the milk, milk bang, milk bang that we did. Um, that people just messaged me saying how funny it was. Thanks. Because Charlie, if you, didn't, yeah, if you didn't watch it, Charlie spilled his coke all over like the inside of his car. It was funny because I didn't see it when it happened, but I've really watched it. It was funny. Did you see I put it in slow mo? Yeah, awesome. Technical. 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 Um, the plan for today is we are going to Lakeside. Just to have a little mooch around basically, just a nice little Saturday lakeside trip and then Charlie's gonna get a burger later and me and Charlie's one gonna get a chani just chill out probably watch horror film. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know why. Um so oh, Mark recommended something to me actually. What's it? I can't remember oh. It's on Shadow. Me and Charlie love lakeside. <laughs> it's like our comfort. So, oh, don't you agree? Yeah, I spent a lot of time there. Yeah, we just love it. We just even if we feel like do you remember when it basically used to be open till like half eleven at night? Oh, do you remember on that? Oh, we used to just sometimes. Do you remember on that one? Inside. The day before Christmas Eve, that year. Oh yeah. Well, we went to the side at like really ten o'clock at night. Yeah. And I went and got, I went and bought those pops. That was it. <laughs> and they did. Sometimes we just fancy it, you know. Basically, I have a pure shopping addiction. And I have to go shopping at least once but, a week. Yeah, but you don't always get something, you just like to move. No, I, no, but I always go with the intention to, it's just like nowhere ever sells anything I like. Because I'm a hard man to please. You are, I know, it was horror stuff. But yeah, we're going to go to Lakeside now. Might get a Starbucks, who knows? Probably will. Oh, yeah. me. Mm. I'll see that hibiscus tea again. Oh, I already have one this morning. With Charlie's mum because we went to Starbucks. Oh, that's what I did this morning. That's what's going to do. Update you. So this morning, me and Charlie's mum went to Starbucks and to see the drug because um, she needed to get some bits. And we got a little Starbucks toasty and a drink. Um, and that was my morning. We've not been to Lakeside on Saturday in so long. Yeah, I'm a uh, hike on Lakeside on Saturday. But we'll see you in, um, when we're in there, guys. Good luck for our space. Thanks. We are in Lakeside and we basically are getting looks because we look so opposite today. Oh my Charlie's gone down. Oh yeah, show your plaid. Cute. And then I'm like, woo! <laughs> yeah, so we are pilot opposites today. But that's just who we are, you know? Coming 
to game to get a little headset. Do you know what one you want? One of those. Oh. It's got camo on it. Does that matter? I want the red one really. Oh. The red one. It's got his headset. I uh have. -huh. Got it. Turtle, was it Turtle Beach? Yeah. Turtle Beach. Basic. And why is it basic? Turtle Beach is basic. I just broke my last one last time. Oh wow. <coughs> oh, I don't know, the thing just, just like snapped. Oh, it keeps like every time I have to spin it around, it loses connection. It's really oh. hard. Charlie's a pro gamer. No, I'm not. He is. No, oh, I'm not. You are. I'm not. Um, but we're just queuing for Primark. I'm hoping that they have my bag. I'll show you it when I get it. But um. We're going for the little bag. Yeah, you know the pink one, yeah. the straw. I like your legs and your belt thing, so I can hold it. <laughs> my no, belt God. loop. Yeah. Oh God. That rains. Rains. <laughs> I used to have those when I was little. Did you? Yeah, you probably didn't, did you? I don't know, I might. I used to run off. Yeah, I don't care, I run off. I used to dash off. Dashing through the snow. Bye, stop that. Get a one for us all for today. They have got it. We've got the yellow as well, but I'm going to get the pink. Um, just because I love the pink. Let's get one from the back. Does anybody else do this? That's got a crease in it. Very fussy, guys. You know me. Ta da! How cute is she? Very cute. And there's the yellow. I have got the blue, but I just thought the pink was cute. This is my outfit, by the way, guys. It's a little bit out there, but we move. Charlie's outfit. The devil. The devil. Put your mask on and get your burger. Charlie has just gone to get his uh, smoking griddle. I will show you the little restaurant. There he is. And that is Smoking Griddle. If you live in Essex and you like burgers, check it out. They are really good, but me and Charlie's mum are having a Chinese. Very annoyed that it is quarter to seven and it's this light. That's gross, man. Where is autumn? Where is winter? That's what I can't wait for. It only gets dark really early. Yeah, I love the dark. It's just much cosier than this. This isn't cosy weather, don't you agree? It's more fun. Yeah, me and Charlie like cosy weather. Not um, like cold. Weather, dark skies. Mm. I like to really moody all the time. And put the candles on, Halloween yeah, candles, trust. pumpkin blanket. lights. It's like heaven. You got a Halloween blanket, I think. <gasps> yeah. I forgot we got a Halloween one last year. We got a spiderweb one. No, we didn't get a spider one. We got the one with the Halloween prints on it. It's Halloween cats on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll I'll take I intended to stick together, but never went to it. It's not quite because we have one each. Yeah, well, I like the idea of it just being one last big one. True. I probably will stitch it together this year. I tried to put it from my sewing machine out once this. Too thick. Yeah. Um, but I will see when we get home. And I'll show you my Chinese, which I can't wait for. Just got my Chinese. I got duck pancakes with cucumber. Um, egg fried rice, vegetable spring rolls, and vegetarian Singapore style rice noodles, which are literally my favourite. They are so spicy, but so good. We're just gonna sit and have this. Charlie had his burger, and then I'm gonna watch Too Hot to Handle, the second series, but this looks so good. I feel like this is my new filming spot. Just literally propped up on my bed. Um, hello, pumpkins. I have literally just got home from work like about two minutes ago. Oh, there's Madison, um, and I forgot, because it was basically the video I wanted to get up for today, as in Sunday, but then I didn't actually get a chance to edit it, so I'm going to edit it tonight and make sure it's up for tomorrow, so Monday when you guys are watching this. Um, but hey, I'm home, I've been to work all day, and I'm absolutely knackered, literally so tired, but I forgot I haven't ended the video, so... I'm going to end it now, but I also thought um, I could show you what I got in Superdrug yesterday when I was with Charlie's mum, um, because we kind of just do like a monthly Superdrug trip now, like at the end of every month, we'll just go and like pick up our Superdrug bits that we've run out of, so I thought I would just show you, it's literally nothing exciting, so don't get, you know, excited thinking, oh my god, big Superdrug haul, such nice stuff, it's just the basics that I've run out of, but you know what, I like to see stuff like this, so I'm going to show you anyway. Um, the first thing that I got was the vitamin E. Uh, oh my god, I should realise how messy my room is. 
Right, let's not talk about it. Let's just pretend that I'm a really nice, tidy, aesthetic area. But yeah, so I've got the Superdrug's own Vitamin E All Over Body Cream. Basically, I've never had this before, like my own bottle, but Charlie's mum uses it, and I tried it the other day, and it was so good. So I got a bottle for myself, and it's literally huge. It's about the same size as my head. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really good, and it will last me a long time, so... I got this and it makes my skin feel so good. And then um, we got one of these each, which is the Pink and Rose Gold Five Blade Razor. Um, it's the Superdrug's own one, but it's like a new, um, a new razor. But apparently you get five uh, like razor heads in there, so you get quite a lot of your money. I think it was only like four pound, but it is so adorable. It is baby pink obsessed and it looks like a really really good razor like it's quite big and then i just got some girl things so look at those um i've got a very boring but a hand wash because i run out of hand wash this is just the carex advanced care one with macadamia oil in it so my hands like dry out because i don't know about you guys but every time i wash my hands they just get drier and drier and drier and obviously since like covid and everything we're washing it 10 times more and like sanitizing 50 million times a day so my hands are getting dry af um so i needed that because got some moisture in it and then i got a hair removal cream because it needs must um i got a face mask this is the garnier tissue mask the uh, hydrating and glow reviving one because I want to start doing more face masks and just looking after my skin a bit more because I have kind of like gone off track with it and I haven't been on it as much and um, just so I've been so busy but yes yeah, so I got this which I might do tonight and then I got the Batiste dry shampoo because I literally hate washing my hair um, and where I've got my tattoo on, on my leg I can't shower for two weeks I have I think I've got like one more week left yeah I've got one more week left um, obviously I can bath and just have my leg out but it's really hard to really like wash myself because li I'm literally sitting in the bath with my leg out so it feels really awkward um, so my hair I've just been not washing as much because I just it's just too much effort at the moment as long as I'm clean and I don't smell then that's you know all good but the hair it can wait so I just thought if I get some dry shampoo just gives it a little bit of a boost Um, I just got the original one just because can't really go wrong and I think that's it yeah that was it for my super drug haul um like i said nothing exciting but i thought you guys might want to see anyway um i'm literally knackered and i need a cup of tea although i've already had i think like how many teas we had today quite a lot basically um but i'm gonna go and get changed wash tidy my room at one point because it's an absolute stay edit this video and just chill out really love island starts tomorrow or today when you're watching this um which i cannot wait for but i might do this my plan for this week is literally just scrub off every single bit of tan that is on my body um because it is gross like you know when your tan just gets to that point of ill like ill even when i try and refresh it it just it's not happening um because i've got all patchiness in my arms so i'm gonna get rid of that i'm gonna have a real pamper week and just get everything looking fabulous and fresh um so that's my plan for this week and i'm gonna use my new razor very boring but very essential um especially because it's summer so yeah that is gonna go ahead and conclude this video i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you just kind of enjoyed like a little random spontaneous vlog um, if you do want to see more of these, do let me know and I will do them for you. But I'm not really sure what videos will come in this week. At the moment, it's just kind of like surprises every week. Do you know what I mean? Like just, oh, what is she going to do this week? Who knows? Um, but if there are any videos that you guys want to see, let me know in the comments or message me, whatever. But thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you have the most amazing, successful, positive, happy, healthy week. Um, make it a good one and yes thank you so much for watching pumpkins i love you all so much it is not long till halloween and when i'm filming this today it is six months until the day after boxing day so in six months time christmas will be over so come on guys let's 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 start the christmas preparations because we need to enjoy it because in six months time christmas will have gone which makes me really sad have the best week i love you all so much and i will see you in my next video bye pumpkins